So are you in the HVAC industry and you're preparing for your EPA exam, but not sure about the resources that are available to you? You're at the right place. The ESCO Institute is the premier provider for EPA training materials and EPA testing online. Plus we have proctored facilities all over the country. So to initiate that, we're giving you a free trial of EPA prep flashcards. If you're looking for more than that, we have a large category of training material with well over 200 flashcards online. We have an EPA core, type one, type two, and type three programs that you can do as e-learning modules. And you can even do your test online when you're ready. So you're in the right place. And we're glad that you chose the ESCO Institute. Welcome to the ESCO Institute. EPA Section 608, Flashcard Program for CORE. Please be aware that this is only a sample of the Flashcard Program. The full Flashcard Program is available as part of the ESCO Institute EPA Section 608 Preparatory Course, available at elearning.escogroup.org. Before beginning this review, please note that the terms and definitions included in this program are specifically intended to prepare technicians for the EPA Section 608 certification exam. These definitions may not include or reference the full industry definition of terms, tools, etc. referred to in this program. Chlorine The element of a CFC or HCFC molecule that causes ozone depletion. The chlorine in CFCs and HCFCs will not dissolve in water or easily break down in the atmosphere. Each chlorine atom in the stratosphere can destroy 100,000 ozone molecules. Stratospheric ozone Stratospheric ozone helps form the Earth's protective shield. CFC and HCFC refrigerants damage stratospheric ozone. One of the most serious results of damage to the stratospheric ozone layer is increased rates of skin cancer in humans. Other human health effects from damage to the stratospheric ozone layer include increased cases of cataracts. Environmental effects of stratospheric ozone depletion include decreased crop yields and damage to marine organisms. Chlorofluorocarbon, or CFC, and hydrochlorofluorocarbon, or HCFC, use in the U.S., is being phased out to stop damage to the ozone layer. R22 is an example of a refrigerant that damages the ozone layer. ODP ODP stands for ozone depletion potential. ODP is the ability of a substance to destroy ozone in the stratosphere. CFCs have the highest ODP. GWP GWP stands for global warming potential. GWP provides a comparison of global warming impacts of different gases over a span of time. R600A in HC has a low GWP, while the GWP of R410A compared to carbon dioxide is thousands of times greater. CO2 Carbon dioxide Used as the baseline measurement for global warming potential or GWP. SNAP SNAP stands for the Significant New Alternatives Policy Program. This is EPA's program that identifies refrigerants with lower overall risks to human health and the environment. Montreal Protocol An international treaty that addresses ozone-depleting substances and their alternatives. $44,539 the amount per day, per violation a technician can be fined for violating the Clean Air Act, including knowingly releasing non-exempt refrigerant from appliances. A2L ASHRAE Refrigerant Safety Classification An A2L indicates lower flammability. Reclaim Reclaiming is the process that returns refrigerant to new product specifications and requires chemical analysis. Compressor a compressor is a refrigerant system component that changes a low-pressure vapor to a high-pressure vapor. The state of the refrigerant entering the compressor is a low-pressure vapor. Refrigerant enters the compressor of a refrigeration system as a superheated vapor. 500 microns 500 microns is the minimum evacuation level that should be achieved in most refrigeration systems before charging the system. Gauge manifold set the color of the low-pressure gauge on a typical gauge manifold set is blue. 
The color of the high pressure gauge on a typical gauge manifold set is red. Polyolester oil. Polyolester oil is a synthetic oil commonly used in new HFC systems and for retrofitting HCFC equipment to HFC refrigerants. Now, are you ready to stay up to date with all of the new industry standards, changes and regulations and refrigerants? Well, you're in the right place. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications and you will have the opportunity to join us every Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern for a live webcast, a live broadcast from industry professionals keeping you up to date on what's happening in the world of HVAC and refrigeration. Welcome to the ESCO Institute, EPA Section 608, flashcard program for Type 1 certification. Please be aware that this is only a sample of the flashcard program. The full flashcard program is available as part of the ESCO Institute EPA Section 608 preparatory course, available at elearning.escogroup.org. Small Appliance Products manufactured, fully charged, and hermetically sealed in a factory with 5 pound or less of refrigerant. When servicing a small appliance, it is not mandatory to repair a leak, but it is recommended to do so whenever possible. Technicians servicing small appliances must have Type 1 or Universal Certification. R600A R600A is a hydrocarbon refrigerant approved for use in new household refrigerators, freezers, and combination refrigeration freezers. Note, hydrocarbons are not approved for retrofit applications. IHRI 740 IHRI 740 is an industry standard that requires recovery devices used with small appliances to be able to recover 90% of the refrigerant when the compressor is operating or achieve a 4-inch vacuum. When the compressor is not operating, the recovery device must be able to recover or capture 80% of the refrigerant using either a passive or active recovery process or achieve a 4-inch vacuum. EPA-approved laboratory Recovery equipment used during maintenance, service, or repair of small appliances that use CFCs, HCFCs, and HFCs must be certified by an EPA-approved laboratory. Sales Restriction The sale of CFC, HCFC, HFC, and HFO refrigerants to service or install refrigeration and air conditioning equipment is restricted to technicians who are EPA-certified in refrigerant recovery. Low-loss fittings Recovery devices used to recover CFC HCFCs and HFCs should contain low loss fittings that can be either manually closed or automatically closed when disconnected to prevent loss of refrigerant from hoses. System dependent recovery equipment. The maximum normal charge of HCFC or HFC refrigerant in an appliance that is allowed to use system dependent recovery equipment is 15 pounds. Passive recovery device. A domestic refrigerator is an example of a refrigeration system or appliance for which it would be permissible to use a passive recovery device. When using passive recovery devices on small appliances with non-operating compressors, it is essential to take measures to help release trapped CFC, HCFC or HFC refrigerant from the compressor oil during refrigerant recovery. R744 R744 or carbon dioxide is a very high-pressure refrigerant that generally does not need to be recovered. R22, drop-in substitute. There is no such thing as a drop-in substitute for R22. Access fitting installation. When installing any type of access fitting onto a sealed system, the fitting should be leak-tested before proceeding with recovery. Compressor burnout. When a pungent odor is detected during a sealed system recovery and or repair, it is most likely that a compressor burnout has occurred. A technician should watch for signs of contamination in the oil when recovering refrigerant from a system that experienced a compressor burnout because the system will have to be flushed if contaminants are present. 500 microns. The minimum evacuation level that should be achieved in most refrigeration systems before charging the system is 500 microns. Welcome to the ESCO Institute, EPA Section 608, flashcard program for Type 2 certification. Please be aware that this is only a sample of the flashcard program. The full flashcard program is available 
as part of the ESCO Institute EPA Section 608 Preparatory Course, available at elearning.escogroup.org. Trace Gas To help locate a leak, the use of a trace gas becomes necessary. Nitrogen with a trace amount of the system's design refrigerant should be used. Soap Bubbles Soap bubbles are best used to pinpoint refrigerant leaks. Comfort Cooling the leak repair category defined by the EPA as air conditioning appliances used to provide cooling in order to control heat and or humidity. R717 R717 is a refrigerant that does not require the use of an equipment room refrigerant detector under ASHRAE Standard 15, provided the mechanical ventilation system in the machinery is run continuously. 10 inches of mercury vacuum 10 inches of mercury vacuum is the level to which an appliance or component containing more than 200 pounds of our 410 a must be evacuated to before making a major repair. Mothballing In order to mothball an appliance using an ozone-depleting refrigerant, it is not required that you remove the appliance and store it in a warehouse at the facility. 20% Starting in 2019, the EPA requires that commercial refrigeration systems containing 50 pounds or more of R22 be repaired when leak rates reach 20%. Comfort Cooling A leak repair category, defined by the EPA as, air conditioning appliances used to provide cooling in order to control heat and or humidity in occupied facilities including, but not limited to, residential, office, and commercial buildings. Industrial Process Refrigeration When a company uses a chiller that diverts 55% of its cooling capacity to one of its manufacturing lines and 45% of its cooling capacity to air condition the office spaces, the chiller would be classified in the Industrial Process Refrigeration Leak Rate category. Extending Appliance Repair Deadlines A certified service technician not being available cannot be used as a reason to extend the appliance repair deadlines. 18 months. 18 months is the amount of time owners or operators of an appliance, with a full charge of 50 or more pounds of ozone depleting refrigerant, have to retire an appliance if the replacement uses a refrigerant that is exempt from the venting prohibition. 30 days. If a comfort cooling appliance, containing 50 pounds or more of R22, is found to be leaking beyond the applicable leak rate threshold, Unless granted additional time, you have 30 days to repair the leak and conduct the initial leak verification test. System-Dependent Recovery Equipment It is against EPA regulations to use system-dependent recovery equipment when the appliance contains over 15 pounds of refrigerant. Welcome to the ESCO Institute, EPA Section 608, Flashcard Program for Type 3 Certification. Please be aware that this is only a sample of the flashcard program. The full flashcard program is available as part of the ESCO Institute EPA Section 608 Preparatory Course, available at elearning.escogroup.org. 30% Starting in 2019, EPA regulations require that leaking industrial process refrigeration with ozone-depleting refrigerant be repaired or retrofitted or retired when the leak rate exceeds 30%. 15 PSIG 15 PSIG is the typical design burst pressure for a rupture disc on a low-pressure, centrifugal air conditioning system. Pressure relief valves Pressure relief valves must not be installed in series. Use of gloves and safety goggles A safety precaution that should be adhered to for low-pressure systems is the use of gloves and safety goggles when working with liquid refrigerant. High head pressure. High head pressure indicates air in a low pressure system. Compressor replacement. Replacing a compressor always falls under the EPA definition for major maintenance, service, or repair. 25 millimeters of mercury absolute. Technicians must recover refrigerant to a level of 25 millimeters of mercury absolute before disposing a low pressure appliance. Extending appliance repair deadlines. A certified service technician not being available cannot be used as a reason to extend the appliance repair deadlines. Within 10 days. A follow-up leak verification test must be conducted within 10 days after a chiller with a charge of 200 pounds of refrigerant 
has passed the initial verification leak test. Comfort cooling. The leak repair category defined by the EPA as air conditioning appliances used to provide cooling in order to control heat and or humidity. Chillers generally belong in the comfort cooling category. 20%. Starting in 2019, the EPA requires that commercial refrigeration systems containing 50 or more pounds of an HCFC be repaired when leak rates reach 20%. 100 pounds. Approximately 100 pounds of refrigerant vapor is left in an average 350 ton R123 chiller at 0 psig once all the R123 liquid has been removed. Mothballing. In order to mothball an appliance using an ozone depleting refrigerant, it is not required that you remove the appliance and store it in a warehouse at the facility. 30 days. If a chiller containing 150 pounds of HCFC refrigerant is leaking beyond the applicable leak rate threshold, unless granted additional time, you have 30 days to repair the appliance so that it leaks below the threshold and conduct the initial leak verification test.